But maybe we were wrong. Because there has been a full self-driving beta crash. All right, hang on. Let's get the full story before we go into mainstream media FUD mode, okay? Uh, John over on the YouTube channel AI Addict has been testing FSD Beta 10.10 on his YouTube channel. He just released a video last week of FSD Beta driving in downtown San Jose, California. Now, he was taking a right turn, and yes, the car did hit a plastic lane pylon. Oh, 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 See? That is a Tesla full self-driving beta crash. I knew the cars weren't safe. Well, no disrespect to John at AI Addict. I give him props for letting the FSD beta do its thing. But let's remember, FSD beta is still just a driver assist program and the driver is fully responsible for the car. So actually, the human driver, John, hit that pylon. Yes, the software is still learning and it's like driving with a new teenage driver. They are gonna make some mistakes. That's how you learn. Failure is a chance to learn. Right. Those who watch this and say, see, these cars will never learn how to drive are completely wrong. These cars will learn how to drive and they will do better at it than humans before long. I always kind of wonder with these people, like, do they have children that are, you know, getting their licenses? Honey, <laughs> I just went driving with our son. He's never going to learn to drive. He's not a good driver. He almost hit something. He's never going to be able I to do it. I thought he was born a it's good gonna... driver, but he's not. Yeah, it's really frustrating. It's not. It's like it is learning. It's a beta program. It's like it has its permit, right? Right. When you go driving with a new driver, I don't know if anyone's experienced this before, uh, the person with the license, not the permit, is the responsible party. Right. So if the person with the permit behind the driver's seat hits somebody, guess whose insurance it's on? Guess right. who is based technically at fault right. in that accident? And that makes sense because you're teaching it. And that's what we're doing at the FSD beta. We're teaching the car to drive people. Right. Except in this case, you are behind the driver's seat and you can take over at any time. Now, John, I mean, <laughs> there was not a lot of time to react. No, and the good thing is, unlike a lot of other beta drivers, you, uh, who don't let the car get into too much trouble, there's drivers like Steven, who if you remember when we did our drives, uh, he lets the car get into all kinds of trouble to see what it will do. And that's just depending on the beta driver. And the reason why this is important is that it actually will help train the neural Exactly. Network. I mean, if you take over too early, then we don't know what it would have done. I would, Although we kind of do because we saw the line heading in the wrong direction. But. I think you can see. Um, but again, this is this wasn't a crash. It's not like a reportable. No. And, and also, this was a plastic pylon. It did no damage to his car. It right. scuffed it a little bit. Like It wasn't like it ran I mean, into a person. Could or, it have been a concrete pole? I suppose so. But maybe it would have looked different to the right. car. Look, we're all going to look back at this and we're going to laugh because we're going to go, remember when cars didn't know how to drive? Yeah. And, and little kids are going to go, Cars didn't always know how to drive, Dad? You used to have to drive it yourself, Jimmy. There used to be a thing called a clutch pedal. <laughs> what did the clutch pedal? It took the engine out of the... What's an engine? It's going to be a hard conversation to have. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.